Hello. Hi. Three years later, how does it feel to be back in the Grand Slam final, also here? Yeah, it's a great feeling. What can I say? Um, it's nice. I feel different anyway. Um, I feel like I have more experience. Um, I'm, of course, happy, but I'm not that excited. Um, I'm looking forward actually to play it. Uh, I'm okay, I'm feeling good. And um, today was a great battle there, big battle. Every point was very important. Uh, I felt like that on court and uh, I felt that I have to run for every ball. I have to be focused for every ball. So good that I could do that uh, in the third set for every, every single ball. So I'm happy with my performance. Simona, how surprised or how proud are you even of, of this tournament so far, regardless of what's going to happen on Saturday? Finished. I'm not talking. Regardless of what's <laughs> going to happen on, on Saturday, but considering the sort of question marks you had before the start of the tournament and how you battled through that and just navigated your way through into the finals. Well, what uh, I can say is about the ankle. Uh, the only one I think, um, <laughs> I don't know how uh, it stays okay there. <laughs> Anyway, I feel during the match the pain, but I don't care. I'm not thinking about that. But to be in the final, it's um, it's just um, a happiness thing. I just feel um, happy, uh, proud, I can say, because I think uh, the mental part helped me a lot this tournament in all the matches and today, um, actually in the third set. In the second set, I had a little bit down mentally, but uh, it was good after. So I'm... I'm good, I'm happy, and um, I just want to remain focused. <laughs> Simona, as you just said, you want to stay focused. The tournament's not over, and it's very clear from what you're saying. But is that how you felt three years ago when you did get to the final? Or is that something you learned that I shouldn't get too excited? <laughs> yeah, I learned. I learned uh, many things uh, during the years, not just um, after that final, also semi-finals in Wimbledon, then US Open against uh, Peneta before that match. So I, I know how, uh, how to be. I don't change anything. It's just natural uh, coming. Nothing special. Uh, it's, of course, a big match. It's a big challenge as well. I will play uh, a very young player. So there is uh, nothing to lose. I have just um, a big chance to, be, to get two things. So I will go there and I will give my everything for sure. How pleased are you that when you've been behind in matches that you've had the mental strength to battle back and no matter what the circumstance, make sure you win? And is that a part of your game that you think has improved? Yeah, I think I've, I have improved a lot in this part. I always had this uh, fighting thing, but um, now I control it better and I control it uh, on the positive way, so all good. I feel good on court and uh, I feel that my game was pretty strong today and uh, all the tournament, so I hope in the final will be stronger. I need that. What do you expect from Ostapenko as, a, as an opponent? She's a... Like today? Yeah, <laughs> similar? you think so? so I, I guess, do you feel like this was then good preparation playing plus away, even if Ostapenko is maybe even a little more aggressive or takes more risks or something? Yeah, uh, I never played against her, I think, so I don't know uh, what to expect exactly, but um, I saw a little bit of her match today. Um, in my opinion, is um, similar to what I had today, so maybe it's going to be the same plan. Uh, you never know with this uh, kind of uh, player, so I have just to stay there for every ball, and every ball is important against them, so I will be there and ready to fight. Simona, we saw in the celebration, very quiet, still business to do, not too excited. But amongst the team, you and Darren, Virginia, everyone, what has kind of been the mantra, I guess, over the last uh, two weeks? What has been, I don't know, the discussion about what is this two weeks supposed to be? We no? didn't talk about this. Um, I heard many people around me that I'm favorite and I was really on honest when I said that I'm not I'm not feeling that. 
Um, of course, I have the chance because I played well in Madrid and Rome, but doesn't mean that it's going to happen the same. But here I am. Um, I'm really pleased with the way I've been these two weeks, three weeks actually. Um, my coach is focused like me and I, we want just to keep this. Um, I stay uh, with my three boys, I can say, trainer, physio and coach. Every night eating, same uh, routine and one more to go. Um, Simona, not to uh, put a negative on it, but when, when I take you back to the scan you had on your ankle, um, what were you feeling then? Did you think that you would have the chance to be here? Was there panic? Or? Um, I was scared because they told me that it's broken. I had no idea what, it's, what does it mean. Um, but I refused to, to accept that I cannot play. So I think uh, I recovered faster uh, mentally because of the positive uh, thinking. And I really wanted to be here. So it didn't matter what the scan showed. Simona, obviously you say you want to stay focused and everything, but you must have given some thoughts to the fact that you could leave here in the number one ranking. Uh, can you talk about that? <laughs> I can. Um, I said earlier that uh, I will play for two things, my first Grand Slam and the uh, number one in the world. Uh, it's a big challenge. It's a big uh, chance. Um, I think I have the game, I have uh, the mentality to win, but it's going to be tough. Um, I, will ex I expect... Um, her to give everything she has, to hit all the balls, to play with confidence, but um, I'm confident as well. Uh, I'm ready to face uh, her and I'm ready to face another final. So, um, yeah, it's a big challenge. It's a big thing. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen to things in the same time. So it's going to be amazing. I don't know what to say more because I cannot feel it. So <laughs> we'll see after. Congrats. You've spoken about... Uh, being the favorite, and actually uh, Pliskova said she would bet everything she has on you winning. But do <laughs> He's nice, always. <laughs> in, so in some way, will that give you even more confidence? And just talk about a player who is so young, going up against a player who is so young and has nothing to lose. Well, um, of course, yeah, she's uh, much younger than me, and uh, of course she has nothing to lose. Uh, it's a big uh, thing for her what is happening but I can feel that I'm in the same position I feel that I have many years ahead so it's just a new opportunity to to do it if it will happen I played once uh, before here and I was very close to win it but if it's going to happen this time it's going to be great if not I will, I will have many years ahead to work and to replay some finals so we'll see how do you think you've changed the most in the last three years since that final? Either as a different person player. Or diff I think how, different how, do you, how do you think? Just describe what's different now. With the game, uh, it's uh, stronger and it's different. Um, I play, uh, I think, more uh, about the game and uh, I play smarter, in my opinion, and also physically. I'm much better, stronger, um, attitude better. I think I'm a different player, and I'm much stronger than 2014. Simone, you've had Virginia in your corner for several, several years, and she's won this title. I'm just wondering if you've ever... I just want to win it to beat her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Have you ever spoken to her about that experience no, for her? I'm not talking, because it's different many years ago, different tennis, different conditions, everything different. I've been here in this position, so I don't need... Uh, advice is how to handle the the pressure i just will talk with my coach about the tactic and that's it nothing else thank you very much we can continue in romanian man